back like we never left BDA, and it's so funny, yo. I'm just going back, and I was going to reread 807, and going on the site, One Piece 808 is out. So, live reaction time, quick discussion. Um, the chapter, the title is Duke Inuarashi. So, we're going to get right into it. Cover page. Who is this? Syrup Village. Uh, people are going crazy right now, yo. They just saw that boy God Usa. Uh, <laughs> you know, Usa's village, yo. They, okay. That's cool. Like, I'm loving the cover stories, man. It's so cool. Loving them right now. Alright, let's get let's get right to it. Page two. Page three. We got some uh, fan art. Cool stuff. Always love the fan art. Ah oh, man, let's get to the chapter. All right, a mammoth. Why such an ancient creature? Mysterious invaders. Who are they? We're being invaded. They've broken down the gate. They're pirates. Drive them out of here. What's going on? The mink. They they look defeated, yo. Duana country warrior Rizo. Never heard of him. That's the sheep guy from. Sanji was battling. You see him standing right there? This is on page 6 manga stream. Do not lay waste to this country. Oh, that's definitely Jack, bro. Please, just leave. Ha, so it does exist. The fabled country of the Minx. You lot, sure, you lot sure like to run your mouths for a bunch of animals. State your name. Who are you? Who the hell do you think you're talking to? The one you see standing before you is the great Yonko. His Majesty Kaido's right and man, I called it. I called it. I called it, bro. I said he was number two. His right hand. I know it's one of the three beings labeled as the calamities. His excellence, Jack the Drought. Oh my god. Starved 100 Beast Pirates, Captain of the Mammoth, Jack the Drought. Captain of the Mammoth. Okay. All land that he passes through decays away of this has been through a drought. What the hell? What the hell? Hand over Rizo. Now hand over Rizo. To now wouldn't you not you wouldn't want your happy go lucky peaceful life to be threatened now, would you? Or what? You really want a piece of me? Hundred Beast Pirates, Gifters Headliner, Sheep's Head. Oh uh, man, of course not. Gramsmon. Yet we must have you hear us out, or else we won't get anywhere. Jack, did you say? We would and will never lie. If you're looking for somebody, you must patiently search around the case by K. Looks like you got cut off. Hold up. Did Jack just attack him? Jack just went in, went in. Jack just went in, bro. Yeah, ha 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 ha. Women, children, even the elderly, no mercy. Did we simply come here to converse and chat? Ginrumi. No, sir. We came here to capture a single samurai. Then went Rizo is a ninja, not a samurai. <laughs> Shut up, sir. She said, Samurai is a catch all term for warriors from the Wano country. You're focusing on the wrong thing. Ah, okay. But I have one demand. Bring Rizo to me. That's absurd. We've been telling him Rizo's not here. And yet, then so be it. Turn this country inside out. Pleasures. What does that mean? Hmm. So it's an all out war right now between the Minx and uh, Kaido's henchmen, or Jack's henchmen, which essentially is Kaido's henchmen. God, what just happened? What the hell was that? Wait, it's the old fart from before and that brat. Ah, it hurts, damn it. This country has no weaklings. Every single mink is a born warrior. Even our infants are able to fend for themselves. Oh, the minks are not weak, bro. Are you not really sure you can turn the citizens of our entire country to your enemies? The abilities of our musketeers, each of whom has been trained 
who has been through farther, tr further training are beyond words. If you end up fighting, both our armies will suffer greatly. If you insist on looking for this somebody, at the very least, please talk this out with our Duke. The abilities of our mus musketeers. Hmm. Talk? I refuse. Gifters, go forth. So we have pleasures and gifters. What the hell? What's with their bodies? Destroy this country and find the samurai. We were unable to reason with them. The clash began before we knew it. Our peaceful claw city turned into a battlefield in an instant. So, so, so the ones that attacked this country, they were underlings of Yonko? Kaidos, correct. How they managed to arrive at our island or, or why they thought there would be a samurai here? These are things we still do not understand. This is so good. Come on. What's going on? Hey Usopp, mammoths. Quit being all happy-go-lucky. Can't you see, be a little more sensitive about the situation? See, now you understand why the words samurai and Wano country are taboo here, don't you? I see. What a repugnant bunch. You know, that probably means the ninja that Kinemon was talking about isn't here. What a bummer. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. By ninja, do you mean a Wano country warrior? Is your crew privy to something that we are not? No, no, not at all. <laughs> Look, we're so dumb. No, not at all. Uh, Inja. We're wondering how the injured are doing. Uh, we're almost at the Duke Sanatorium, as you can see. I apologize for making you all come this way. We can continue this discussion later. <laughs> Luke is all beat up. My deepest apologies, sir. Sicilian. Lord Sicilian is going mad. What on earth? Duke in the Raji Sanatorium. Lord Sicilian, what has you so distressed? Oh, Wanda, it's you. No one here is showing any backbone. Looking at this guy, that's more than likely the same guy that was on the cross <laughs> when Jack was going at him. More than likely. So I threw him into the bottomless pit. Uh, I don't know, probably. I threw him into the bottomless pit. Kindness, love, affection, baby sugar, and honey. Do not ever talk about anything sweet in my presence. Ugh. So strict, but yet so cool. I'll tear your windpipes out and I'll get back up here on your own. Remember the three Inurashi Musketeers? Inurashi Musketeer Squad Captain Lion Mink, full power Sicilian. Oh man. So a three Musketeer vibe is happening right now. Our apologies, we will never talk about anything sweet ever again. That is the spirit. Lord Sicilian, this is a straw hack crew. Huh? I give my deepest thanks for saving our country or for, for de forever indeb <laughs> indebted to you all. Lord Sicilian tends to go all out in everything he does. Clearly, he's a bit of a stick in the mud. The Duke awaits inside. Yes. Now come forth. This is not the time to be dilly-dallying. It's Luffy and the others. Chopper's like royalty right now, bro. So you lot are the Straw Hat crew. Duke, thank goodness you're safe. You all really did us an incredible favor. Where can I express my gratitude? Or was this one the one that was on the, um, hold up. So who was that other guy? Oh, he was a musketeer. He's the musketeer, the squad captain, Lion Mink. And this is the Duke. Okay, okay. Alright, so maybe it was the Duke that was on the cross. Maybe it was the Duke. So you lot are the straw hat crew. Duke, thank, good, thank goodness you're safe. You all really did us an incredible favor. Words cannot express my gratitude. Apparently my friend saved you guys, but still haven't heard the whole story. Actually, I was talking to all of you, including you, straw hat Luffy. What the hell did Luffy do? Oh man, you must be super strong. You look, you sure look pretty strong. Hold your tongue. The Duke is the country's strongest warrior. Now, now, that's not something you can say about the defeated. Luffy can normally tell how strong somebody is just by looking at him. So, defeated. It's true that our enemy was a troublesome one, but we had an upper hand in battle. If only Jack hadn't brought such a weapon into our country. Hmm, weapon? The weapon that destroyed this country was Caesar's, Caesar's poison gas weapon. What the hell happened on Zoe? 
So they were giving Jack that work. But they lost because of Caesar's. Caesar's poison. So we're introduced to the Musketeers, we're introduced to the Duke, who is more than likely stronger or at least as strong as Luffy. Because when Luffy normally says that, hey, you look really strong, they're normally either strong as Luffy or stronger. Um, I'm trying to think of the last person he said you look really strong too. Um, I can't remember right now, but he said that to someone before, so we have to assume that, yeah. Alright, so, introduced to the Dukes, we're getting more and more of the story of what, hell, what the hell happened, and right now, I just really can't wait to see, to hear all of it. We're getting bits and pieces as far as everything that happened, and it's like, it's this timeline that we have in our head with Sandy fighting the sheep guy and it's like okay the country you know was affected by Caesar's poison gas weapon how why did Caesar do this why did all this happen now I want to see the fight between the Duke and all those musketeers and Jack that's the most interesting part of this to me because he introduced Jack as what did he say about Jack? He said Jack is known as, is labeled as the calamities. His excellence, Jack the Drought. Now, why is he Jack the Drought? And look at Jack. He has a ponytail on top, which is, it's kind of, um, that's the trademark of samurais, is it not? So Jack is from Wano? You can make that assumption. He has that, um, that ponytail. I remember hearing about the calamities before. I don't remember exactly what the calamities were, though. That is amazing. But yeah, guys, um, great stuff. Um, seeing Jack was amazing. Um, seeing the, the Duke was amazing. Uh, the Musketeer theme, that was great. And I'm, I'm just really excited for next chapter. Review coming later today. Um, <laughs> great stuff. Just let me know what you thought about it. Jack the Drought. Jack the freaking Drought. Great stuff, guys. Like it if you did. Um, comment, subscribe. That'd be dope. Have a good day, people.